Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is August 12th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quartal of the Day. And if you can't quite guess what you're looking at, these are Decotora, which are these brightly lit trucks in Japan. There's this whole Decotora culture, and it is truck driver day. <laughs> So I thought I would show you that and use the word truck as my inspiration for today. Isn't that crazy? I mean, those cannot be street legal, at least not in the United States. Oh, we got a K. Okay, that's interesting. So we have to think of what might go with K. We're not getting anything there. Okay, there we go. Uh, we have to think of things that might go with K um, and look at the common letters. So S, oh, that would go with K. T, L, oh, that could. N, oh, that could. E. All right. So we have to think of the position. We don't have a C, K. We don't have an R, K. But we could have like a K, N for need or an N, K for like pinky. We could have an S, K for skein. How do you spell that? We can have an LK for milky. We we haven't used the Y, have we? Um, skein. S K E I N. I think it's I E N. No, it's E I N. Oh, look at that! We got an S and we got a K, and now we know there's an I. What is that going to be? All right, I'm going to assume. Well, get in your spot that the I goes here, right? It's probably not going to end up there. We already have a unique letter. We're probably not going to have a weird placement for an I. We could maybe also have like an O or an A. Let's look and see if we can find anything that goes with SKI. I want to do Skippy, but we need another block. Um, Q, W, Y, maybe this isn't such a good arrangement. O, P, skimp. Oh, I think it's going to be skimp. Um, oh, that's a good one. O, P, A, D, I hope I don't find anything skids but that would end in an s so i'm not going to try it oh shoot skiff that's supposed to be a comma skiff i like skiff too i think i like skimp more g h j l skill oh shoot i don't care that that's right next to it um, oh, skimp. We already did skimp because I did it with the P. Okay, so this looks like a good uh, start to things. I might want to try an M or a P and an F and an L. So if I do flamp. Flomp. Flimp. Oh, man. Well, if I do something oh, slimp, what, what could go with that? Glimp. Oh, shoot. I kind of want to try the eye there. If we do an eye here, and we do an MP, but we don't need both of those. We could do F L I P S flips. Do you think that would be enough? I think that would be enough, at least if it's one of these three. Let's let's take a look at this. If we do flips and we get an F in the wrong spot. 
and the I is placed here, then I'm going to think it's skiff, because I don't know how we could combine the F with anything else. If we get the I here and we get an L not placed, and we don't get anything else, I'm going to think it's skill. I don't think I could come up with skilled, skilp, skilm. I don't think I could come up with anything to blend with the L besides the L. If we do a P, I'm going to think it's skimp, right? And any way that we look at it, the I should be placed. It's really contingent on what letter shows up if, we've, if we are on the right track. And I think we are. Because I just don't think an I goes there. All right, let's try it. F. Oh, and I was thinking, oh no, the S, that's because of that. It's skiff, right? I don't think it could be anything else. We need to put in at least one F. I don't, I don't see, I don't see what it could be, except for skiff. There we go. It's a skiff. All right, so let's clean all this up and jump into our Wordle and see what we can find. I'm going to use my four standard words that give me 20 unique letters. Fishy, budge, clown, tramp, thump. Look at that. So even though I used a lot of words, I get a lot of information. The H, well, the U can't go there, so it has to go there. That means the H goes there. That's thump. Um, trike, I'm thinking. It's not tries, trikes, trive, trige, trike. I think it has to be trike. Shoot. Trite. I didn't think of these letters. Okay. Uh, I'm a flunky. No, I'm funky. <laughs> Um, F U the N has to go there. So at least we got a K out of it. I that was bad though. Do you know what? If I hadn't tried that, I would have gotten this wrong. I would have tried funny instead of funky. So I'm okay with that. Okay, and then cheer C H E could go here, E could go here, R could go here. Right? C H E E R. C H E could go here. We still need the R. I don't think we could do like an R R R V R X. I think it's cheer, but I'm nervous because I don't have any more options for mistakes. Um, a T could go here. I don't think an R could, an I could, or an E could. I don't think a V, an X, or a Z, or a J, or a Q could. So since I made that mistake, there we go. I'm I'm more assured this time. All right, and that is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.